In this video, I'm going to show you how easily you can get started using Workspace Environment Management Service with Citrus Cloud. The first step is to install a cloud connector. To do so, we will access the Citrus Cloud Control Plane and click Edit or Add New Resource Location. If you do not have a resource location configured, you need to do so now. In this case, we do, so we can go ahead and download that cloud connector. Once the cloud connector is finished downloading, we need to enter our Citrus Cloud credentials. After entering the cloud credentials, we need to select the cloud customer for this cloud connector. In this case, I have it configured for WEM Demo to be the customer. After this, you can complete the installation and we can move on to the next step of setting up the WEM service. We now need to install the WEM service agent. In this environment, we are utilizing PBS for our image management solution. That means before we install the agent, we must put our VDisk into maintenance mode. To do so, we first need to access the Citrix PBS console. We will then click Sites, Site, VDIS pool and right click our VDIS store and select versions. We will then click new to create a new VDIS version that will be in maintenance mode. The next step is to turn on our maintenance machine and boot from the newly created VDIS version. We can now enter our administrative credentials and log into the machine. Once logged in, we need to download and install the web service agent. To do so, we will access the Citrix Cloud Control Plane by going to citrix.cloud.com. We can then enter our Citrix credentials and select the cloud customer. Once at the home page, we can click My Services, Workspace Environment Management, Downloads, and then download the WEM service agent. Once the agent finishes downloading, we need to right click on the zip file and select Extract All. We can now launch the WEM service installation wizard and agree to the license terms and conditions. Be sure to select Cloud Service Deployment as well as Configure Citrus Cloud Connectors and enter the fully qualified domain name of the cloud connector we just installed. We can now complete the installation of the WEM service agent. Once the agent is done installing, be sure to restart this virtual machine. After restarting the machine, we need to go to our PBS server to promote the VDIS version to production. We will access the PBS console, click Sites, Site, VDIS Pool, then right click VDIS Store and select Version. We will then click the new version and click Promote. In a production environment, you will first want to test these changes by clicking Test. For the purposes of this demo, we will go straight to production. The last step is to add the machine where we installed the agent to our WEM console. To do so, we will click Workspace Environment Management and then select the Manage tab. Once in the console, we will click Active Directory Objects, Machines, then Add OU. We will then select the organizational unit that holds the machines with the WEM agent installed. The final step is to configure the agent to launch on logon. By default, this is not configured, therefore any of the changes that you make in your console will currently not be applied. So we need to select launch agent on logon, launch agent on reconnect, as well as under agent actions, we will select each process that we want to run when the agent launches. That wraps up how to set up the WEM service with Citrix Cloud. In the next video, I will be demonstrating just how powerful WEM is by highlighting the resource optimization feature.